got the honeymooners on. I told you come to this side. I see it. It's coming. I think it's a big old snapper. Getting tired, they said. <laughs> you gonna be able to net it, Keegan? I'll get it on video. Net man. Oh, nice snapper. That's a real nice snapper. I think that's the best one. That probably is. Woo! Nice job! Hey, it's Eric from Red Lion Rods. I wanted to walk through kind of what we used today. So in the video um, with Alexa, this is the rod that she was using. So this is a, it's only a six to 12 pound rod. And when I use these little banana jigs from Hooked on Bottom Jigs, Andrew Kearney makes these, these are fantastic. So we had no current today, so we used these little bad boys that quarter of an ounce um, and they fell pretty much straight down so we use this and then you can use I use down to 15 pound leader it just depends on how finicky the snapper are but you can see the leader goes all the way into the reel so I'm using quite a bit of leader sometimes up to like 20 feet um, if, when they're that spooky and the this is that good um, you almost need it this rod has a lot of flex in the tip so you can kind of see it helps keep those knots from busting on you, right? If, the, if this is a fast action rod and you hit that backbone, those knots are, gonna, something's gonna break it. It's gonna be a knot, especially a 15 pound meter. But you can use 20, you can use 25. Um, let the reel do the work, right? With snapper, they're not gonna rock you up like a grouper is. The only thing you're concerned about is if you don't get that jig in their mouth, their teeth can be rubbing off the slide. So it's nice and smooth, no pumping. Um, this is another rod we used today. This is kind of like the next level up. This is a 12 to 25. You can see the difference in the diameter between the two. Slightly longer foregrip, and this is just my personal rod, so this is personal preference, but I like to be able to grab the foregrip in case something big does hit it. You can see this jig head was well used today on a bunch of the snapper. Again, from Hooked on Bottom Jigs with Andrew. I guess, like I said, these things are phenomenal. Especially for using like white bait and uh, pinfish, anything, any, fish not uh for shrimp i like his longer j hooks and again meter goes all the way down into the real seat so i've probably got 10 feet of meter left and that's after a day of fishing um this one i use a stratic 4k that's a 2500 but again let the reel do the work if i have to bump it up a notch and i can up the leader this is a 20 to 60 and this is more of your fast action you could use this for tarpon you could use this for gags you could use it for any of that kind of stuff um, has a lot more strength and a lot more meat than either of these other two. So if you're getting into amberjacks or something like that, I, I use the Cabo on it as well, Cabo 50. It's just got a ton of drag. So this is kind of, if I'm gonna go out fishing with a buddy and I'm not taking my boat, these are the three rods I'm probably gonna bring. This covers you from everything all the way down to, I wanna catch squirrel fish to drop it down for gags with this rod. Um, and then I kind of wanted to show up this net. So I don't make this and I get no money from Fabril for this but I just love this thing. And a bunch of people asked it where I got it. So you can get it on Amazon or your local tackle shop, but you can see the net stows up inside this tube and it unfurls so you don't get all these tangles in your net flying off the back of your boat. And it's a really, I, you can net keep a cobia with this thing. So, and then when you're done, it just funnels back up. So if I was gonna say a three must have or four must have things like, these would be the three rods that I would bring if I'm going on an excursion on somebody else's boat. And this is like my all-time favorite net. So, thanks for watching.